What's going on guys? So uh, today I'm going to be telling you uh, what I got from JM Bullion. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in on this. Uh, so this is an empty case because <laughs> I didn't get anything from JM Bullion. And I'm going to tell you all about it. So what's supposed to be in here is a one tenth ounce gold Britannia coin, which is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. I ordered that coin on Black Friday, and I never got it. JM Bullion took my money, they shipped out the coin, presumably the package got lost, and now they never want to give me a refund. They said, oh well. And I think that's unacceptable. So I'm going to tell you the whole story here. Um, but before I start, I kind of want to, I want to point out a couple things, all right? Number one, I've used JM Bullion as a bullion dealer in the past multiple times. I don't know how many times, but... If I had to guess three or four, uh, three or four orders that went perfectly fine. I was extremely disappointed with them as a company on how they responded with my problem and their policy. And that's why I'm making this video is to let you aware of their policy in case you continue to do business with them. The point of me telling this story is to just share my experience. That's what I do on YouTube. I share my experience with knives and lighters and flashlights and and all kinds of random things. That's all I'm, all I'm here doing. It's just sharing my hobbies and experiences. This is not a smear campaign. This is not me telling you to not do business with them. Although I can tell you my opinion as of right now is that I will never, ever, ever order from them ever again, personally, because of this experience. Now, that being said, who knows, maybe five, 10 years from now, I changed my mind. Um, but uh, I think it's very important to tell the story specifically about the policy so that you don't go through the same troubles that I went through. So where the story starts is when I ordered my, uh, my little piece of gold. It was on Black Friday last year. I was very excited to, uh, to spend some money on Black Friday. I knew I wanted to get uh, some kind of precious metals. And I liked the deal that was on JM Bullion on the 1 10th ounce gold Britannias, all right? So I placed my order. And I want to say about 24 to 48 hours, I got an email with the tracking number. So they processed my order, they shipped out the package. And this is you know, not only post pandemic, but it's also the holidays. So packages are delayed left and right. Nothing's arriving on time. I'm ordering Christmas presents for my family, nothing. Not one thing came within a reasonable amount of time. Usually you order stuff, you get it two, three days later, especially nowadays, right? But um, because of the holidays, because of the, the shortages of workers everywhere, the, the uh, lack of postal workers, the lack of warehouse workers, because of the pandemic, um, everything was delayed, right? So a week goes by, I don't think anything of it. Two weeks go by, I don't think anything of it. After three weeks of tracking this package every day and not getting any, any results, um, I decided to call JM Bullion. Now, at this point, my tracking shows in transit arriving late. Those are the exact words, USPS, regular postal system, in transit arriving late. Okay, doesn't say it was delivered, didn't say it was lost, just said it was delayed, which is expected. That's the same tracking that I got for multiple packages throughout the, the shopping season. But three weeks later, I'm thinking, well, what, what if it did get stolen? What if it did get lost? You know, so I wanted to call them and I wanted to inquire. I wanted to ask what would happen. So I, I dialed the number, the 1-800 number that's on their website. I got a wonderful, nice woman who, uh, who I talked to. And she didn't really give me any information so much as just to say, I'm very sorry to hear that. Hopefully with the holiday delays, you'll get it soon. And that was it. That was the information that I got. That was our short conversation. Hopefully it arrives soon. But if it doesn't arrive, you know, soon, um, please contact us again. Call us back. And she said she would direct me to the claims department, okay, where I can put in a claim for a lost package. That was, that was it. That was the conversation, right? The following day after that conversation, I got an email. It was an automated email. And the email had said that I put in a claim for a lost package, which number one, I did not. So she felt the need to put in a claim without my permission. And the email uh, went on to say that my claim was denied. And it was denied because I waited too long to contact them about my lost package. <laughs> so at this point, I'm reading the email pretty thoroughly. I probably read that email 15 times because I couldn't believe it. So you're basically saying, first of all, I didn't put in a claim at all. I was surprised by that. 
But I understand that I was asking about a, a package that I didn't receive yet that she assumed that I was putting in a claim, which again, is, it, it's an aside. It doesn't really matter. It's a moot point. But I did want to just say that I didn't actually request a claim on a lost package. Because at this point, my package is not lost. It says it's in transit, arriving late. Again, to be expected during the holiday season, during the pandemic, right? But this, this email threw me for a loop because it was basically saying that, yeah, um, we're not going to give you your money back. So sorry about that. Sorry it's lost. Uh, you waited too long. Their policy says, and I'll read this exactly in a second, but they're basically saying here that you have seven days from the last scan to contact them. Otherwise, you basically forfeit your right for a refund, which is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous uh, policy. But that is their policy, um, you know, and they have this, it's on their website, you're clear to see it, rules are rules, you don't have to like them, but if you're going to do business with them, you have to follow the rules, right? So, again, totally confused by this, it, the holidays are going on, I'm, I'm getting all kinds of different packages, I just call to inquire, then I get this email, so then I'm, I'm freaked out by the email, I'm like, what does that mean? You're just not going to give me a refund? Uh, my problem is that uh, even elsewhere on their, their policy page, it says that they insure every package. What that means is that any packages that get lost or stolen, they get refunded that money. They have insurance on all of it. All bullion dealers insure their stuff. So if my package is lost, they don't want to give me a refund, but they're going to get their money back. How is that okay? I gave them money for a product. I did not receive the product, but they're going to get insurance claim on that. And they're going to get refunded their money that they lost. That makes no sense. That means they would have gotten paid twice. They got my money the first time, then they're going to get the insurance claim, they're going to get the money the second time, so they're going to get twice what they charge me, and I'm going to get nothing. That's unacceptable to me, okay? But it's their policy, you know, as a consumer, I should have known their policy, right? That's what some people would argue, that it's in black and white here, you don't have to agree to it, but if, I mean, if you're ordering from them, you are agreeing with it, is what I'm saying. So, so then I call them back. I'm uh, upset at this point, but I'm being very courteous. I'm being very professional on the phone. I'm not like yelling at the woman or anything. I said, look, I'm just a little frustrated here, not understanding this. So she directed me to the claims department. This is the first time I was transferred to the claims department uh, of the maybe four or five different times. I literally called them five separate occasions to, to ask about this, what's going to happen. All five times, I got the claims department because the person I'm talking to on the phone, the person that picks up the phone, the, the girl that's there or multiple girls, um, they can't answer these questions. That's not their thing. They could take orders and stuff. They can look into things, but they don't deal with claims. There's a claims department. So all they can do is transfer you over to a phone number and an answer machine that you never hear back from. I left two separate messages with my personal information. I never got a call back. Never. Um, I never got an email from them other than the first automated email uh, after my, my suggested claim, which again, I did not make, saying that they weren't going to refund me. So their claims department never got back to me. And I thought, again, that was very frustrating because I wanted to have a conversation with them and ask about this policy. So this whole experience is extremely sour at this point. I'm very upset. I'm very annoyed. So I forget how much time elapsed. I want to say maybe another week or so of me trying to call them and getting nowhere, getting absolutely nowhere. The woman on the phone, the last time I called, I was, I told the woman my situation and I was asking a lot of questions like, you know, this is the holiday season. How can you expect anyone, anyone during the holidays, let alone during the pandemic holidays, uh, to know that their package is going to be delayed? So I'm asking her questions like, okay, well, you want me to notify within seven days. What if I notified you the day after I ordered it? And then the day after that and the day after that, what would happen then? Because I know that your company can't make a claim for 90 days with the post office. So like, and she has no idea how to answer these questions. She's getting very, she's stuttering on her words and, and just like, she, she really just doesn't know how to answer my question, which are legit questions. And she just kept saying, well, I, I, you know, I'm going to, uh, uh, maybe the, the claims department will, will answer that or, uh, you know, she didn't know what to say. And I'm telling her, look, I don't get anyone from the claims department. You transfer me over, I get an answer machine. I don't know if one guy, Bob, didn't come in that day, but no one's calling me back. No one's talking to me about my problem. So at some point, I give up with JM Bullion and I go to my bank, the bank that I use the card to place my order. Now, I talked to the bank. The bank said, okay, well, you know, we understand that, they, you know, they have a policy. We're going to go ahead and contact them. 
And they, my bank had 90 days to resolve this issue. So what they did was they gave me a temporary refund on my purchase and uh, they tried contacting them. And uh, it didn't matter that it was a bank, Jay and Bullion never got back to them. And I kept getting updates, you know, week one, week two, week three. And well, hey, we're still trying to get, get a hold of them. They're not getting back to us. So eventually after whatever it was, 60 days or something, um, the bank declared that uh, they were gonna permanently issue me that refund. So they gave me my money back on the order and the very day that they did that, they decided, hey, look, we're trying to contact this company. They have no interest in talking to us. We, we tried multiple times to try to resolve this. And I'll bet you if my bank actually got to talk to JM Bullion, they would have not given me a refund because their policy is very clear. It's clearly I did not, you know, uh, contact them within seven days of my last scan. Now, some of the questions I was asking the woman was like, how do I know when my last scan is going to be? This is everything is delayed. It's not realistic for me to know or even assume when my package is going to be delivered because it's not delivered on time. Nothing was delivered on time during December of 2021. It just wasn't. So how are you supposed to know when your last scam was? And on top of all this, I went on like the Better Business Bureau and you guys can do the same. You could read. There's other people who had the same problem with JM Bullion on multiple orders. And there's even problems with people who contacted within the allotted time and still had a hard time getting a refund. They just did not want to give them a refund. And like I said, I mean, it's unacceptable to me because they're getting paid they're shipping out a product and they don't care what happens after that. They're basically telling me to contact the postal service. The po I can't contact the postal service. They don't know what, what, anything either. They have no idea what my package is. But as, as a recipient of a package, I can't make a claim. Only the sender can make a claim. So JM Bullion got my 230 bucks or whatever it was for the order. They shipped it out. They think they're done with their responsibilities, I guess, at that point. Uh, but even though the, the package is still missing, Eventually, they're going to get another $230 from the insurance company, from the Postal Service, for a lost package. So they're getting paid twice. And they expect me, the customer, to just be okay with not getting anything for my money. Oh, well, sorry. Sorry I got lost. Not our problem. That's basically what they're saying. Um, you could read here the exact policy. I'm not going to read all this. I'm going to read the highlighted parts. But there's their shipping policy. I highly encourage anyone who deals with JM Bullion to read their whole policy and know about this. Like I said, I've ordered multiple times from them, gave them money, ordered something, got the package, everything was cool. But the one time I didn't get the package, they weren't there for me. They weren't helping me, the customer. They basically said I was out my money and oh well, sorry, have a good day. And like I said, I find that very unacceptable. Um, there's no way that I can know or anyone can know when the last time their package is going to be scanned. You know what I mean? You see a scan, how are you supposed to know you're supposed to contact them in the seven days? You don't, That you don't. That's a very strange policy in my opinion. Um, if a package goes missing and they're gonna get their money from their insurance claim, they should give you a refund. I think that would be a normal policy, but it's not. So here's what I would encourage you to do. If you want to continue doing business with JM Bullion, once you see your first scan, I would contact their, their department and let them know, hey, just got my scan today, it's within seven days. Just in case my package does not arrive in time, I wanna make sure I get a refund. I would call them on the first day. And then the second day, you don't get your package, call them again. Call them on the third day, call them on the fourth day, call them on the fifth day. I would call them every single day to ensure that it's documented that you just got a scan and you wanna make sure that if your package gets misdelivered or doesn't show up or whatever happens, it gets lost, that you're going to make a claim. But from what I've read online, even if you have a legitimate claim within the seven day period that they give you, they still give you a hard time. So as long as you're receiving your packages, everything's hunky dory, but if your package gets lost or there's a problem, they don't have your back. But I'll tell you what, my bank had my back and they gave me a refund. And what's kind of funny or strange in my opinion is that the day after I got my refund from the bank, Jay and Bullion sent me an invoice like, hey, we didn't get this money, they was just taken back. So why don't you go ahead and pay that again? Thanks, which is laughable to me. It's just, uh, I don't like that policy. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I think it's something that's, um, what's the word? It's uh, unreasonable. It's unreasonable for them to ask you to contact them 
within seven days of an unknown date because you don't know if your package is going to get delayed. You don't know the normal shipping time during these times, during the pandemic, during uh, the holidays specifically. Everything is delayed. Everything. It's not reasonable to ask that you are contacting them within seven days of the last scan because you don't know when that last scan is. You really don't. To this day, as I'm filming this, what is it, four months later, something like that, my package still, the tracking number still shows, in transit, arriving late. And if that package shows at my door any of these days, I'm going to either send them money for it or I'm going to return it. Uh, but even the return policy is like, you have to contact it within five days of it being delivered or something. So I'm just saying, I'm not making this video to say, hey, screw JM Bullion. Uh, never buy from them and it's not like that. I'm just telling you my story. They have a policy I don't think that a lot of people are aware of their policy. That's why I'm telling you about it So if you want to order from them, just make sure that you know this stuff. It's important to You know arm yourself with knowledge So, you know when you're clicking on that that uh, that item, it's not like you have a big red message Hey, make sure you know if you're gonna buy this from us that we're not going to give you a refund if you don't tell us within seven days of the last scan. I mean, that's a very specific thing. So, uh, yeah, I was surprised by it. I was blindsided by it. I was upset, uh, very upset at the fact that they, they think it's acceptable to accept your money and you don't get anything for it. That's just not how business works. You know what I mean? But it is their policy. Their policy can be ridiculous and that's okay. Now I'm aware of it. I'm going to choose to not use their business ever again. I have no plans on ever ordering from JM Bullion again because of this very, very sour experience. And it's not just their policy. I mean, when I talked to them on the phone, the people who represented their company when I called their number didn't have any answers. They just didn't know what was going on and their claims department never contacted me, not once, not by email, not by uh, a phone call. I asked multiple times. I left very, very courteous professional messages and they did not call me, they had no interest. I don't know, again, if they're just super backed up, if they're shorthanded, but it's not a good excuse. Uh, I can't accept, oh well. I can't just lose a couple hundred dollars because, oh well. And that's, I feel like that's the attitude they have is, hey, we did our part, we shipped it out, and not our problem. You know, go complain to the Postal Service. Well, the Postal Service doesn't care, and the Postal Service doesn't know where my package is either. They never will know where my package is. Uh, that's why they have insurance on it. But the problem is I can't make an insurance claim. I didn't send the package out. JM Bullion did. But they're going to make an insurance claim and they're going to get their money, right? So at the end of the day, I got refunded from the bank who, who forcefully took it from JM Bullion. And eventually JM Bullion, it, they lost a coin. It's floating out there somewhere, whether it's stolen or still sitting uh, in a, you know, on a pallet. They're going to get their insurance money. But if that coin ever shows up, of course, I'll make an updated video uh, on this situation. But if it does ever show up, like I said, either I will purchase it, I will send JM Bullion the full amount for that coin, um, you know, at the time that I ordered it, or I'll return it. And I'll, I'll talk about that process as well. But man, the whole thing was just, it's such a bad experience. And it's really unfortunate. It really, really is because they're such a, a go-to for so many people and such a large company. But anyway, I did want to read this for you real quick here. It's under shipping. Again, you can find this on the website. So this is what pertains to me, really. If a package becomes lost in transit, and again, this is weird because the package is technically not lost. It's in transit, arriving late, according to the post office. So I don't know how they can really decline my claim, which I never officially made, because it's not lost. It's just arriving late. Weird, huh? Anyway, if a package becomes lost in transit, it is your responsibility to notify JM Bullion of this within seven days of the last tracking update. While JM Bullion will make reasonable efforts to locate the package, which they never did at all, literally nothing. And again, if they call the post office, the post office would literally give them no information. There's no possible way for the post office to let JM Bullion know where it is. That's just how it is. So that's redundant that they even have that in there. I don't know what a reasonable effort to locate the package is. Literally calling the Postal Service and the Postal Service saying, oh, I don't know, shrugging their shoulders. Okay, well, that was pretty reasonable. Anyway, Jay and Bullion will not be held liable for packages lost in transit without notice within seven days of the last tracking update. So say it twice here. Within seven days of the last tracking update. You are solely responsible for any packages along with the contents and the monetary value thereof. 
that are lost in transit without notification to JM Bullion within seven days of the last tracking update. Three times they have to say that. Seven days, seven days, seven days. So, again, if I were you and you were ordering from JM Bullion, the second you get that tracking number, call them, say, hey, I got my tracking number. I'm letting you know within these seven days you want me to. And then do it on the second day and the third day. Do it every single day until your package arrives to ensure that if it gets lost, you can make a claim. And even then, good luck. Good luck with that claim. Like I said, you could read stories on the Better Business Bureau uh, complaints against JM Bullion. I think if you complain on there, they have to respond. But there's some interesting, interesting cases there. And, you know, people, and this is minimal. You know, it's not like you're shopping at Walmart.com where the average order is 100 bucks. People ordering precious metals. Some people are spending 10 grand, 50,000, $100,000 orders. That's no joke. That is no small potatoes. You know, it's just, it's so unacceptable to just be like, I don't know. Sorry, you didn't let us know in time. Because here's my big complaint. Even if I let you know within seven days, there's nothing you can do about it. So why is your policy, what, what does seven days mean? What does that even mean? What are you going to do in seven days? Nothing. You can't make a claim on a lost package to the Postal Service up until 90 days. So what's your seven? What does that do for you? All it allows them to do is keep your money and tell you, oh well. Just shrug their shoulders and say, sorry, better luck next time, I suppose. That's unacceptable. That is very unacceptable. I'm, I'm very happy my bank stood behind me and gave me my refund. I'm very disappointed that Jay and Bullion never talked to the bank. Like I said, if they did talk to the bank, I probably wouldn't have gotten a refund because clearly that's their policy. But they didn't have the time of day to pick up the phone and talk to me or my bank. It's just really unfortunate. Uh, so many people do business with them and will continue with no problems. But just be aware of this. If you are ordering from them, and I'm not discouraging you from doing it, I'm never going to do it again. I mean that. This was uh, such a bad experience, I would never take the chance again. I wouldn't want to deal with them even if I did have a proper claim in time. I don't even know how hard or easy it would be to get my money back. But um, yeah, I just lost all confidence in them as a company. But I'm not saying that you shouldn't you know, order from them. If you want to order, order from them, that's fine. Just please be aware of their policy so that you don't get stiffed like I almost did. So that's all. Eventually, I'll get my Britannia to go in this little case for the collection, but not from JM, unfortunately. So that's all. If you guys have any stories about uh, JM Bullion that went sour, please let me know down in the comment section. Again, you could read those on the Better Business Bureau of uh, multiple cases, and a lot of them do have to do with shipping. A couple of them, I believe, had to do with returns too. I just think that it's reasonable to expect a refund if nothing arrives. Now, if I was JM Bullion, uh, I would give people the refund on a lost package, make my normal insurance claim like I normally would, and I'm not out any money. But if that package does eventually arrive, then of course I would make it an obligation for them to pay for that package. I'm not expecting to get anything for free. I'm expecting to get the product that I paid for. But when my product didn't come, I expected them as a company to stand up for me and say, I'm very sorry about that, sir. Here's your money back. Because you got nothing for the money you gave us, here's it back. And like I said, as, as a company, they're gonna get reimbursed in their insurance. So just crazy, the whole thing's a little crazy to me. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I mean, a thousand people could be ordering from them right now and a thousand people can get their package and a thousand people could be nice and happy. This is just that one time I wasn't happy. And that's how things work. You know, you can go to the same mechanic for 15 years and everything's great. And that one time they stiff you, you just don't like them anymore. That's kind of what happened here. I really like Jay and Bullion. I like their variety. I like their prices, uh, but not anymore. There's lots of competition out there that's still just as reliable that are even more competitive with their pricing. And those are the people I'm going to be using in the future. And something else I want to mention too, is that I talked about this locally with someone who I know who, who's very much into precious metals. And he literally had the exact same problem, only with a bigger order and more money. And I told him, go to your bank, go to your bank and have them fight for you because it's not right. So I'm not, I literally talked to someone locally, someone who lives in my town, who ordered from JM Bullion and had the same problem. They ordered around the same time. They didn't order during Black Friday, but they ordered during uh, the Christmas season. Their package never arrived and that's it. They never got a refund. Now this person was a little more accepting of it, and I told them, don't be, do not be, Wherever you, whatever bank you use, whatever uh, you know, car you use for that, make sure you get your money back. That's not cool. 
And he thanked me and said, you know what, you're right. But he was totally going to accept it, like, ah, just, you know, it happens. No, that's not acceptable. Not in my book. Anyway, of course, you give me your opinions down below. You can call me uh, an idiot because I didn't know their policy, or you can agree with me and say, yeah, that's not cool. Good for you. I'm glad you fought for it. But it is what it is. I just wanted to share my story here. Um, very disappointing. But uh, it's over now for me. Like I said, I still look at that tracking number every day. And eventually, if it does show up somewhere, I would be glad to give it back to them or buy it. But uh, that's the last business I would ever do with them personally. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for listening to my, uh, my story and my long rant. Because that's basically what this is. is a, a giant complaint that they're not good at business, in my opinion. And that's just my opinion. You can disagree. Uh, like I said, I'm sure there's thousands of people out there who've been using them for years and years with never an issue. But hey, the day you do have an issue, just make sure you're within their policy so you don't get stiffed. That's all. Just a heads up. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.